it's Donovan Evercher from Cape Racing and uh, I'd just like to say it's an absolute pleasure to be involved with uh, Intrabet and Cape Readers in this, uh, in this golf day today here at Pearl Valley. Um, it's fantastic for the industry to see all the relevant stakeholders coming down and having a good time and networking and it's exactly what the, the industry needs right now in terms of moving forward and recreating some positivity to take us forward into the next year. Jackpot time, fourth race on the card, which is the Follow Gold Circle on Facebook Maiden Plate. Wow, what a Facebook page that is. If you haven't uh, gone to have a look at the Facebook page, I suggest you do. There's some fantastic uh, interviews and some fantastic information on that Gold Circle Facebook page. Fourth race, 1600 meters. The average merit rating is a 63, and the race is carded to run at quarter past two, 1415. Here's where many people will banker to see if we can get some confidence. Let's go and look at Red Soul's last run. Let's go and look at Queuing's last run. And let's go and hear what Tristan Godden and Gareth Wright had to say. Run down the inside, zero raid. Coming down to the 300, Red Soul, Royal Monarch, and Tenacious Time won't throw in the towel. And Broadway is also trying to get into the race. It's still Tenacious Time, but the big danger is Royal Monarch, Red Soul on the inside. Tenacious Time, Red Soul, Royal Monarch coming down to the line. Three of them across the track. Royal Monarch's going to win it. Second is very close between Red Soul and Tenacious Time, then Broadway. Eventador's further back in the run. Graveview on the outside, then Sylvan Park and Cyber Time. Coming to the 200, though, Purple Flame gets away by two or three. Down the inside, Q Wing Eventador on the outside, Graveview. But Purple Flame's well in charge. And Purple Flame will win by about three or four lanes. Second's going to go to Q Wing. Third position is close between Graveview and Cyber Time. Red Soul, um, he was beaten favourite in his last two runs. He's drawn well at five. On the grass, I think he's a better horse and I think he's the one to beat. Okay, um, one shot wonder. Also a horse, um, he's had uh, two good runs. The last run, I think he might have had excuses. So I think uh, barring that run, he's got fair form and with the draw seven, uh, I'm sure um, hoping to be uh, in the mix. Okay. I can't help but agree with Tristan Godden, the one to be with, the one to beat, Red Soul. I do believe, as Tristan does, that he's better on the turf. I don't say that he doesn't perform on the poly. He certainly does perform on the, on the, on the poly. But his best effort, when he was naught common, naught five off safe return, was on the turf. He ticks a lot of boxes, does Red Soul. He's knocking at the door, and I think he's going to be very, very hard to beat. Others to mention, number one, Cyber Time has had two runs for two places. We saw him running fourth in that race that was won by Purple Flame. Two all around the world is a beautifully bred son of Oasis Dream out of none other than same due restriction. Uh, he should relish the mile. He really should. Anton Marcus rides him and obviously they've got a good draw at gate two. Seven one shot wonder. Ignore that last start. We heard from Gareth that uh, he's got fair form before that last run, he certainly has. Include him in all your bets. Number nine, Majestic Power. Okay form. Last effort was okay, uh, but a tad more to do for the win. I give him a place chance. Uh, Ten, queuing is a deep draw. He ran second at any price last time did queuing, so he's going to have to confirm that recent improvement, and he possibly could. But after all is said and done, for me, first leg of the jackpot, pick six, place accumulator, all round, all to come bankers, duck or no dinner with horse number five, Red Soul. I believe he's going to be tough to beat. Hi, I'm Trevor, the CEO of the Same Foundation. The donation we received from Interbase helped us in procuring vital, life-saving medical equipment and PPE for Tigerberg and Huchiskia hospitals in the Western Cape. Um, this was while the Western Cape was the epicenter of the pandemic. If you'd like to get in touch or assist us in these projects, you can get hold of us on our website, which is www.samefoundation.org.za, Facebook and Instagram or LinkedIn.